Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to OTC Fish Keeper. Long time no see there. I've been kind of crazy busy with work. Haven't had a lot of time, or really any time, to uh, to do many videos. But uh, I'm trying to work on that. But uh, I was I was originally planning to uh, do a video today on all my fish uh, where we're sitting. Uh, a little update, but uh, as time has actually run even short for that, I decided I would just do an update today on the goldfish, just show where we're at with the goldfish, because we've got a couple different tanks going here and things going a little interesting. Uh, they're kind of all sitting on the bottom right now because I just woke them up, I just turned the lights on. But these six here are the pond goldfish that I rescued a few months ago, and uh, they're growing very nicely, very nicely, and in the tank they're in, you may recall it's the tank I was having so much trouble with the cloudy water and uh, I had and the Oscars were in there and I had suspected that the uh, part of the problem or a good deal of the problem was the copepods in this tank because they were just carpeting the bottom of that thing. They were everywhere. You could see them on the walls moving around. There were so many of them. <clears throat> Everything I read said that copepods were harmless but uh, I think there was a lot of uh, waste created by those things that clouded up the water. And I also knew that goldfish eat copepods, so uh, I, they, there are none in there now. These goldfish have polished them off. And, uh, and now, as you can see, the water is crystal clear. Now, it could be a difference between having Oscars in there and having goldfish, but uh, I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. And these guys are growing really nicely, too. These guys have already put on some size. Uh, of course, the biggest ones are running down to the other end of the tank. But uh, it's kind of fun. It's kind of interesting. Uh, very shortly here, in a month or so, I'm going to have to move all of these fish and all my tanks to the new house I just bought. So uh, when I do that, I'm going to get to take the, uh, the large goldfish out of the fish pond, which is right behind the camera, I'll show you in a sec, and, I, and while I'm moving the pond itself, those fish are going to go into this pond. Now you can see this is a nice, big size, good sized goldfish here, it's probably six inches, five, six inches there. And uh, yeah, he's coming up to the glass bars just at the perfect time. And that's a good sized goldfish. And the, all these goldfish from both the pond and this are the same kind you get at the store for 14 cents or you win at a fair in the little goldfish bowl, although honestly it shouldn't be called a goldfish bowl. And, uh, and this is what they grow into if they get in the proper space and the proper food. So what's going to be fun is when I take the adults, the big well, these are adults too, but when I take the big ones out of the uh, fish pond and put them in here for temporary holding while I move the pond and we'll get to see just how big those guys are compared to these guys who look big until we put them next to them. And so now let's let's go take a look at the big guys in their pond. Okay and these guys are uh, just now starting to move because I just turned the light on for them too as well obviously. And uh, you see them down there, very happy in their pond. That's my biggest one right there. And he's probably, he's probably 13, 14 inches. Doing fantastic. I'm absolutely loving this giant uh, fish pond I built. Uh, just from basically a, a horse or cattle watering trough. And uh, even even the little ones, I'm gonna, I might start by putting the little ones in the 125 gallon tank there, just to show them off. Just show how big they really are compared to what appears to be pretty good sized fish. Got a lot of cool colors in there. Let's see if I can focus in on the shabunk in there. It's kind of hard because uh, he matches that gravel too well. There's my white one. I had 12 in here and uh, over the course of the last couple of months I've lost two of them. Those two were also rescues and uh, they weren't looking too great when I got them. And uh, so they did end up dying, but uh, all the rest of them are doing fantastic in there. So now I got 10. After I move them, I'm going to put the six pond rescue in there so we'll have 16 in this tank. And then, of course, there are the babies. If you might recall, the, uh, the pond goldfish laid eggs, which I assumed would be eaten, but I forgot that the filter was just a, an overflow filter, so they actually would be safe once they got into the filter. And I managed to rescue uh, about six or eight of the uh, babies here. And uh, this one in particular is growing really nicely. Uh, although I've, it looks like I'm going to have six nice ones in there. Pretty soon I'll put him in with some of the adults. I might even put him into the uh, pond whenever I move everybody. Got a couple that are still pretty babyish, you know, very tiny still. 
But uh, they're doing well. Whoop, hard to focus on them because they're so small. But yeah, we've got six of them. I do have two of them in this tank that are deformed that I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to get rid of. I'll probably just feed them to the Oscars. Goldfish are not uh, particularly good, healthy food for Oscars, but these guys are so small, and there's only two of them, so they uh, they're not really going to uh, hurt the Oscars much. There's a nice little colored one swimming around down there, yeah, and just under here, there's one of the deformed ones. I don't know how come that thing survives, but uh, it does. But obviously you can see he's not going to be happy. So I'm, I'm going to put him out of his misery by just feeding him to the Oscars. Luckily there's only two of them like that. But uh, I'm curious to see how these guys grow up, see what I end up getting out of them. We'll have to find out. All right, so until next time, you guys be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're getting real close to 300 subscribers. Let's see if we can get that before, uh, maybe before the end of the year would be great. And... Uh, Whenever we get to moving these guys, we'll get to see how, uh, how this tank looks. Whenever I do put the pond goldfish in this 125, it is going to look packed. But it's going to be beautiful, but a temporary fix, definitely. So until next time, you guys keep having fun, and I will see you all later.